I'm a walking Rolodex in town. Today, that self-described walking Rolodex is driving his way through downtown Las Vegas. I'll get him in somewhere. 42-year-old Giuseppe Mandel on the road, working that network to find drug treatment for those living on the streets. It's a place he knows well. This was Mandel at his lowest of lows while he was chasing that high. Number one goal is like family or friends that need to get somebody into treatment. On this triple digit early summer day. You want to get sober today? Fate would introduce Mandel to this man. He started misusing drugs at age eight. And we're in. Soon, he was in the passenger seat, headed for a treatment bed. Uh, the last time I showered was about two weeks ago. His drug of choice, synthetic opioids like fentanyl, a supply health officials warn could be tainted further with the animal tranquilizer xylazine. Every day, I'm playing Russian roulette with my life. And he's lucky. The Southern Nevada Health District reports three overdose deaths from xylazine so far. In all, more than 900 people died from a drug overdose from September 2022 to 2023, the last 12 month period with data available. After a quick drop off, Mandel is back on the road, dropping off shoes to this unhoused woman whom he hopes to get into treatment when she's ready. I mean, you're just trying to get well and then eventually when you get so low to being homeless, you're just existing from day to day. This day, a reminder that there's hope. There are a lot of resources and a lot of help out there. When you least expect it. In downtown Las Vegas, I'm David Charns, 8 News Now. As you heard, there are many, if not most people who misuse drugs say they'll keep using anyway. We did ask the Southern Nevada Health District about that. Information like what we've been sharing about xylazine can be an important touch point for many people. Oftentimes, uh, folks who use drugs, you know, it's out of their control what's in the illicit drug supply. So information can be a key touch point. That can lead to treatment when someone is ready. Xylazine is not an opioid, so Narcan, the opioid overdose antidote, will not work against it. The health district offers free test strips for both fentanyl and xylazine at its Decatur location.